Let us begin. First of all, uh, Congresswoman Tauscher, I understand you have a prime time speaking uh, address tomorrow night at the convention. What are you going to talk about? I'm going to be uh, a part of the town hall meeting that, that is at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 o'clock Eastern time, and uh, it's uh, national security, we believe, and it, it's going to highlight my role as the chairman of the Strategic Forces Subcommittee on the House Armed Services Committee. There is certainly you know, a lot of concern. Foreign affairs is a big issue. Terrorism is still a big issue. What would you like to see the next president, the next Congress do, for example, in dealing with radical Islam that is different than what has been tried here before? Well, I think the key is that um, Senator Obama as president is going to be radically different than President Bush. And I think part of it is, is that Senator Obama's got a worldview that engagement is not endorsement, but you still have to use soft power to engage with people that are doing dangerous things, perhaps not at the presidential level, but certainly at the intergovernment level. And that has been absence from, from our policy under George Bush for the last eight years. So we've had Iran pr proliferate uh, missiles uh, all over the Middle East uh, through Hezbollah and Hamas. We've had North Korea uh, try to get nuclear weapons. We've had uh, many different things that have happened. We've certainly not had uh, Afghanistan come to uh, uh, peaceable security. It's a narco state now. Uh, we've got a volatile political situation in Pakistan. They've got nuclear weapons. They've never signed the non-proliferation treaty. So there's a lot of different things that Senator Obama's position basically is, is that you have to use both levels of levers of power, soft and hard power, and he would never commit our military to a mission where, number one, we didn't know how we were going to get out, and number two, where we would be breaking the military to complete the mission. He has been criticized by conservatives for uh, expressing what appears to be a willingness to sit down and at least talk to people like Iran, if not negotiate. Uh, is, is that a fair criticism, unfair criticism, and what's your position on it? Well, it's a very unfair criticism, and that's what the conservatives do. I mean, they certainly, I think the conservatives certainly supported George Bush when he decided to negotiate with North Korea, uh, and when he decided to negotiate with Libya. So, I mean, I, there are certainly members of the conservative uh, groups that are um, just really fronts for the Republicans and are for anything George Bush wants to do. And I think what we want is a much more uh, balanced approach, uh, certainly not at the presidential level to deal with some of these terror states, but certainly to have engagement to find ways to disarm them, to get them to be part of the world community, to stop terrorism, uh, to begin to, uh, dialogue, to have a dialogue so at least we know what they want, as opposed to what George Bush has done. Last question on a more uh, closer to home issue. How does your re-election look in your district and what are the big issues that are people are talking about in your district that you're running on? Well, you know, we always take elections seriously. Uh, I'm happy to be supported by local leadership and uh, I'm proud to be the Democratic nominee and the incumbent in, in this seat. Uh, this will be my seventh term. Uh, I am uh, the most senior Californian on the Highways and Transit subcommittee. We're going to be doing the big highway bill next year. Uh, I am a chairman on armed services. I have two national labs and, and Travis Air Force Base in my district. Uh, clearly the economy, clearly the housing credit cr crisis. Uh, water is a big issue, obviously, in my district. Uh, we have many, many different things to work uh, for, and the, my constituents want change, and that's why I hope they will continue to support Senator Obama and help uh, put him in the White House. Congresswoman Tosser, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.